Hello, my name is Dina Febrianti. I hope you will find this topic informative and interesting. The topic of my presentation is Ebola virus. Blood clots begin to form. Internal organs begin to fill. And in a matter of days, the body hemorrhages and dies. Terrors are caused by a nightmare comes life. Ebola is a virus. A virus is a very small thing. Ebola is a rare but extremely dangerous disease. It's classified as one of the most lethal diseases on the planet with a fatality rate of up to 90%. What makes Ebola so dangerous? How can a virus overwhelm the very complex defense system of the body so quickly and so effectively. Let's take a look what Ebola does. A bit of RNA or DNA and a few proteins at a whole. It has no ability to do anything by itself whatsoever and can only survive and proliferate by infecting cells. To avoid this, we have the immune system. Usually, the dendritic cells will activate the army of antivirus cells, support cells, and antibody factories that work together with the guard cells will up, wipe out the infection in a matter of days. But when Ebola strikes, it directly attacks the immune system. Some of the virus cells it takes over are the dendritic cells, the brains of the immune system. The virus fuses with tissue cells, invade them, and releases a genetic content into the cell. RNA uses the host cell to generate copies of itself. The genetic material takes over the cell machinery to replicate itself. New copies of the virus are formed, released into the system and disperse. This also causes the cells to explode, sending infectious particles flying. The virus not only prevents the genetic cells from activating the specialized and antivirus parts, it manipulates them into sending signal proteins that trick specialized cells into ending their own life prematurely. So the immune system is seriously disrupted, disrupted and unable to react. When the virus rapidly multiplies, we're talking billions, there are cells that should deal with infected cells, the natural killer cells. But they also get infected and just die before they can prevent the disease from spreading. In a desperate last effort, to turn the tide, the immune system launches a cytokine storm. A cytokine storm is an SOS signal that causes the immune system to launch up its weapons. This hurts the virus but leaves behind tons of collateral damage, especially in the blood vessels. And as the virus spreads, it invades the lymph nodes and vital organs such as kidneys and liver, causing them to lose function. Ebola only exists in bodily fluids such as saliva, blood, mucus, urine, sweat, vomit, or feces. In order to spread, these must be transmitted from an infected person into another's body. You can also pass through bricks in the skin. Ebola is caused by six species of virus, of virus with four known to cause sickness in humans. Within eight to ten days, those infected by the Ebola virus may experience symptoms drastically ranging in severity from fevers to diarrhea and vomiting to internal and external bleeding, often from the eyes, nose, and mouth. While outbreaks have been caused by multiple species of Ebola virus, the strain with the highest fatality rate was the first to be discovered 
Zaire Ebola virus. Scientists believe food bats to be its natural carriers, which is how it is transmitted to humans, remains unknown. Furthermore, many of the countries where Ebola outbreaks occur, occur so suffer from poor infrastructure and sanitation which enable the disease to spread. And that it's my explanation about Ebola virus. Thank you for your attention.